Where are you going? Oh, good, mate. Nice to meet you. This is Steve Green. He owns and runs Greenies Mowing in Sydney, Australia. He's got an awesome selection of mowing toys and he invited me out here today to have a turn of his Razorback on this 25 degree slope. I filmed his entire setup and I'll post that video on the second channel. This thing is awesome and I can't wait to give it a go. So this is your uh, dual yeah, axle, eh? Yeah, no. It's it doesn't cool. look old at all. I've had about a year. So how long have you been doing this? Um, 2009, officially in 2011. Okay. Started business in 2011. All right, so about 10 years. Yeah. Get over that. Nice, okay, geez, this is a nice setup. Yeah, so that's a 30 inch there. That's a cool setup, man. Two, and then just you've got a 30 and a is that the Toro? So that's, that's like the commercial Toro, that's a yeah. Master, yeah. The, the one on the left there, yeah, the 21 inch commercial. Okay, how do you find that? Good, good. I came from the Honda's, yeah. Um, I like the lights, it's got a little bit more power than the Honda, has it? But it doesn't leave a finish like a Honda. Oh, okay. Right? So, and then what do we got trimmer wise here? So, so this, you've probably never seen it with Tanaka. This, this nah. is Tanaka. This is, this was a Rolls Royce 10 years ago. These were the premium uh, whip snipper. Yeah. Um, that was my first whip snipper. I'll never get rid of it. Yeah. So, so this is what we're here for today. Yeah, have a bit of fun with that. Razorback. Yeah. Does this go down? Yeah. yeah. Man, this thing looks like a go-kart. That's how I've been describing it. This is cool. What are these worth in oh, Aussie this dollars? One, this is a couple of range. So I got the winch on some upgrades at 25 grand. Wow. Had you used one before? Before buying it? Nah. No. 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 I just knew I had heaps of work for it. Yeah. <laughs> and I did a lot of demos with them. They came out a few times. Oh, so you month. did? You got to use one first? Yes. Yeah, I got a demo. Yeah. And I took it on the worst job you could imagine and it absolutely killed it. Killed it. Yeah. Equipment makes a big difference, doesn't yeah. it? What were you cutting the big stuff with before that? Oh, I wasn't. No. no, I wasn't. You just kept getting these jobs and... Yeah, and I was keep knocking them back. Yeah. And no one else in the area can do them unless you have a big tractor. Yeah. And a lot of the times the tractor was just too big anyway. This is quite compact, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's all engine. What sort of engines on it? I said Briggs and Stratton 23 horsepower. So it's a Razorback. That's yeah. just what it's called, Razorback? Razorback 2302, I think it is. Okay. I think it's... And about 25 grand Aussie, you said? Yeah, 25 grand. Look. And you've got a winch on it. Yeah, I've used that a bunch of times. Have you? Yeah, comes in handy. Here's another couple of cool toys he's got. A Billy Goat Slasher and this Victor self-propelled utility, which I think may be my next purchase. This is the slope we're mowing today, and it doesn't really show up on camera how steep it actually is. We're out in the bush, and if there was ever a day where snakes would be an issue, it would be in this long grass out here. So I'm chucking on my Snake Protect skaters. Once again, thanks to those guys for setting them out. They make me feel a lot more comfortable in these sort of environments. How are you going to start? Just be careful of snakes, they, they'll be in there. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> hey, we get bitten by a snake, that's, that's guaranteed 200,000 views. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll go down and up a couple of times. Yep. And I'll cut in, and then I'll let you have a go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Done, I'll just so you mate, know. Right, mate, I'm, I'm happy to film and then have a go at some stage. It's just, it's actually refreshing just to be able to, normally I've got to move the camera yeah. and get, get well, back on. see and... how clean it cuts, it doesn't even bog. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing. I've got to interrupt for one second, but it's something good, I promise. When we get to 50k subs, I'm going to give away an FS94 trimmer, a still FS94 trimmer. I pretty much stole the idea from SB Mowing, but you know, it's a good idea. I want to give something away, so when we get to 50k subs, FS94, we're going to give it away. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 50k and give away that trimmer. So Greeny reached out to me couple of weeks ago and I have been so keen to come out and see this thing work. This is a nice beginner's slope. Looks a little intimidating to me, but.
that's impressive. It's actually quite slippery here too. Forward, that's forward. Yep, forward and then step on to go back yeah. if you've got a decent sized foot yeah. so wait so how do you brake there's no brake you don't need to brake because when you let go of that yeah it slows down but okay. if you feel unsafe yeah put on that i, I don't feel, ride it i feel like i'm gonna grab it yeah well whatever you want to do if you're gonna cut yeah we'll cut we'll cut that yeah so i'll put it in front yeah all right okay now you're cutting all right here we go I started to get a little bit nervous there as we got to the top and it started shaking a bit and it's, uh, yeah, that's cool. It's a little bit wet. Oh, love it. Yeah. When I do this, I don't do it like that. I you go across crossways. Yeah, okay. To about half. Hey, that's more fun. I did a really average it's job. Hard to know where the deck finishes on a new machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you got it's very hard, but it's normally in line with sort of the middle here. Yeah, okay. Sort of the cut, but it's I find it. You know, it depends what you're cutting. I noticed I leave, left a couple of mohawks had to go back over yeah. them, but that's um. But that's a slash and finish. I mean, yeah. we're not here to manicure it. Yeah, mate, that is awesome. Yeah, good fun. So you only knocked that over in 10 minutes, that really. Yeah, and I always yeah. take, you know, slowest. This surprisingly quiet. You like, you feel like yeah. there should be more um, throttle like, there. Yeah, you full throttle. Yeah, <laughs> you, it, it sounds like it. that, yeah. Yeah, I've never listened to it from behind before. Yeah, even being on it, for me, it was like, you know, reasonably quiet. I'm like, oh, it feels like there, well, sounds like there should be more, but it's just, yeah. it's working away well. What about how often do you get punctures? I haven't had a puncture on this yet. Well, um, how good's that? I've, what have I done? I've busted the blades. Yeah. I've hit basset blocks. I've hit a couple of basset blocks. It turns into dust. It really does. Yeah. My mate Ian, he um, hit a um, start picket and cut it in half. No way. Yeah. These are really strong, like the system on here. They right. swing back. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's not actually that bad. It's like, serious, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. All right. Will you rip into it? We'll get into it, eh? I'll um, I'll see if I can um, yeah, play with the snakes. <laughs> When the, when the snakes run out, I'll try and catch them.
backwards. What sort of incline do they say is safe enough? 37. There's, What's this? This will be about 25. Okay. But it depends on the slope. It's not because the engine, the, the machine can't handle it. Yeah. It's because of the oil in the engine. Yeah, okay. If it's too of course. heavy, it'll starve it and kill the engine. Yeah. Had fun watching someone else work for a change. Greenies finished most of this slope, but Greenies hit me up telling me I've got to do this bit here. Probably the thickest of the slope. I've been, I've been up this slope, come back and I've slid down. The more I accelerated, the more I was sliding yeah. down. And I've just gone, oh shit. <laughs> and every, the ground was actually crumbling. Really? It was just like this, but it was really steep. I just put it in reverse, just really slowly. It took me about 10 minutes to get down because I butt clenched so tight. Oh, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, it was bloody awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to see the, uh, what is it? It was a skid steer with a, no, yeah, with what's a it called? Flower. So it's a mini skid with a flower deck. Okay, yeah. so is that all the same? Is it ver Vermeer? Vermeer, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so that does all this stuff. And what the difference between that and this, this will do it with the Vermeer, you can come from the top and work your way down. And this is Lantana. Yeah, this is Lantana. So, this is all right. So, you'll knock that over. But when this, this is. You'll knock that over with that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But when but you've got to drive over it. So, when you get some stuff that's real, this is not that old. You get Lantana that's probably about three, four years old. It's like it's all webbed, interlocked. Wow. Like, and you've got to drive through that, and you're getting cut up at the same time. It's yeah, really uncomfortable. 
Because with the um, skid steer, you can come from the top and just, whoa, just pound it down and you're mulching it up into nothing. I've got to uh, come and see that in action at some stage. Yeah, so, and it, you know what, it clears all this and just pound it down. All slashed down, expertly, not so expertly at the end, but looking good. So that was a cool day. Thanks to Greeny for having me out. Can't wait till the next video. Love trying stuff like this. Thanks for watching, guys.